one. Today I'm going to do something slightly different from what I've been doing in, with my video journals. I'm going to talk about a piece of artwork. Um, I'm going to show you the piece of artwork. I'm not sure I should keep it up there all the time. This is the piece of artwork. It's a poster size A3, uh, very sketchbook. It's a sketch pad I did the artwork on. And the theme is home. Um, I'm not going to hold it up all the time, but I will talk you through. And I'm going to refer to my notes because there's such a lot to say. And I may not all be able to say it all in one video. I might have to break it up into a few. Um, so the reason I got started on this is I wanted, first of all, I wanted to work on a larger scale because A3 is, I mean, I'm, is, is a, it was new. This is a year ago that I started working on, on these drawings. And I watched a Skillshare video by somebody called Chantel Martin, an artist who worked. She, 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 yeah, the course was called uh, um, Drawing on Everything. Yeah, and she literally did, you know, she, trainers with hats, you know, she, she used a crink pen, I think it's called, yeah, a black pen. She just used one colour crink pen and marked on, up the pages and, and she, when you saw what she was doing, it was quite interesting. Um, so I was inspired by that, uh, but I changed it completely to me using, because I like painting. I like using paint, she likes using one colour, I like using lots of colours. So my decision was to make a drawing with paintwork, um, but not just paintwork. I used, uh, up here you'll see highlighter pens, um, some some of it is marker pens, uh, but it started with me randomly drawing with a black, black marker pen basically, and you'll see objects coming up after I've done the marks on the page. Um, symbols, symbol of nature, the trees, that's why I, I quite like using them in my drawings. And others are just what came up. Call it a stream of consciousness. This is kind of like the alternative is when you free write. So I suppose you would call this draw write. <laughs> no, not, oh yeah, I suppose you are. Um, so let me see. So I use gouache as for the blue, which is a really nice colour, and that was the main paintwork that I did. But I didn't I didn't decide on that until after I'd done all these objects, and and then the next day I thought, yeah, I need it needs it's calling me to do paint. Um, there is a sense of movement with these lines, I think, because uh, when I did the drawing, I there was no like I said, it was a stream of consciousness. I wasn't thinking about anything particular when I was doing it, as far as I'm concerned. So the, the, the marks came first, the objects came second, and the phrases, which I'll get to later, came last. Um, so that's the sort of stages that, that my drawing went through. Um, I think the paint brought this piece to, to life in, in ways that I'm not sure it would have, I mean I've done lots of paintings so I, I, I like working with paint so I think that's what happened with this painting. It became a painting rather than just a drawing if that makes sense. Um, and this idea of uh, lines, uh, Chantelle Martin talks about the way she approaches her work. She says there is this meditation of lines, a language of creatures and messages. And for her, it's part autobiographical and part dreamlike whimsy. <laughs> well, I'm, I think she's right. I think it became like that for me. I didn't think about it like that at the time. But when I look back on it, which which you do, uh, or which I do, there was some analysing and evaluation and all those things. You then see that there is autobiographical elements of it. And then, uh, yet yeah, there is this dreamy approach. Um, so, what I like about my drawing poster is that you can read it. You know, so it's, there's a there's a the, the phrases are for you to look at. So, no 
got exclamation mark place like home has a little and then it transitions over to the no place to belong um the house has just got two windows i'm not sure what happened to the ones at the bottom I, it is what it is and of course it's abstract <laughs> so then we've got this other phrase of but where do we belong but you can you can break these words up to but do we belong question mark so there's a few layers to the phrases, which I like. Um, the heart shape, in my mind, indicates, well, wherever we do belong, there needs to be love. That's what, you know, the main message is. Um, the words here and there, okay, um, are for interpretation. What I, yeah, I'm not sure, if, yeah, there's this bit. The section here, it's a little cir circle here under my finger there, um, says, remember we live in a planet. I know that's a tiny little circle there, but I think that I have to even remind myself about that occasionally. You know, I go, it is quite amazing that we live in the planet Earth, um, amongst the universe, amongst other planets, and, you know, you start to go off on a dreamy whimsy. Um, it is a quite, it is truly remarkable, um, and so that was a part of it that I wanted to put in there. Um, what else can I say about this? I think it brought out my voice in the piece of artwork, which is different to what I normally would would do. I don't think voices when I'm doing artwork, but I think it brought out my voice here. And yeah, you can read the poster and go along with the abstract characters and. Uh, and the symbols, you know, the nature symbol there at the bottom, where is it? There, there, of the trees. I quite like using the symbols of, it, of nature. Um, what else? I'm just referring a few to my notes. I kind of think that I've covered everything that there is to cover. Let me see. Uh, yeah. I, I wondered if it had a spirit, not in any religious context, but because the sense of movement is, is really, a, it's just an interesting feeling when you look at that, what, what you've done, because it is your expression and there can be this idea of spiritual elements, I guess, um, because it, it, you could say it's a little bit beyond the abstract, but uh, I mean, I didn't think like that when I was making the piece, I, I was just enjoying making the marks on the page randomly, um, following Chantal Martin's uh, ideas about just going with the flow, and then then adding the objects wherever they may turn up. Um, and then the words, I like the, I, and the words come easy to me because I'm a writer. So, so it wasn't, I mean, it's easy, you know, to add words to a piece of writing, but it felt, it felt, yeah, it felt good. The eye is, well, yeah, what could it be? A third eye. Um, and then there's a sense of a fish in, you know, with the lines that I drew, which is just my, it's just me looking at it and thinking that way. But I think, yeah, I think it's an interesting piece. There are, I've finished this sketchbook now, so at some point I will show um, some more of these sketch drawing paintings that I've done in A3. Uh, that, that, yeah, so, but meanwhile, um, yeah, this is my, it's a, I think it was the second piece I did in this format and in this style, and I'm really enjoying, well, yeah, I really did enjoy making this piece. So more later. Bye for now.